um, I'm Hey Jim. I'm here to uh, practice chair yoga with you. Um, so the most important thing in finding a chair, even though they might not have an armrest or not, really nice to not have one and a back support for it. So a lot of times uh, the chair might be too high or too low. So sometimes you can actually add a blanket underneath your feet, um, maybe a block. You can grab a block if you have a block at home. You can grab a block or uh, maybe some extra pillows that you have in, on your couch or something. So once you find a comfortable seat, you want to make sure that your feet are um, nice and flat on the floor, right? So you can actually press down and kind of lift up, right? And your knees are going to be parallel to your hips and your ankles will be right underneath your knees. Your shoulders should be nice and relaxed. You should be able to press firmly down through your seat where you're, se you're feeling the and uh, noticing the seat, your feet, um, excuse me, <laughs> your um, uh, seat on the chair. So from here, I'd like you to find that seat and really get comfortable. Just start to relax everything. Make sure you can feel the sole of the feet down on pressing down through the, to the ground. As you lift the spine nice and long and the head is resting right on top of your shoulders. Feel the shoulders maybe you'd like to rest, reach it up and down just to release and relax it a little bit. You like to Move your head before you settle in. Your hands are either facing down on your thighs or even on your knees. Just resting. Your arms are just soft and relaxed. And gently close your eyes. Start to notice the breath. Noticing any sensations in your body that you'd like to release scanning from your toes all the way slowly up to the crown of the head as you release all the parts that you notice you steadily climb up through the physical body and as you come to the crown of the head just to start to notice all the stress that might be lingering all the thoughts that might be crossing it in your mind as you Try to find some peace and stillness here. Just allowing yourself to let go. Try not to attach anything that's crossing your mind. So you can begin your practice clearly and freely of any thoughts. Starting to Create your breath in your nose, in your nostrils, breathing in and out. Then you take your next breath, inhaling and filling yourself with the energy of the universe, finding the balance between the negative and the positive, bringing in the positive energy into your body balance out the negative that you might be feeling right now in this day and age. Slowly beginning to let go of that stress as you exhale, letting it out through your seat, inhaling up, keeping the spine long and aligned. Continue to observe your breath. You begin to notice how it moves your body. Notice that subtle movement that the breath creates as you inhale and exhale. As you continue to sit here, creating your breath, slowing everything down, smooth and steady like a tide of a wave, moving forward and back, just like your breath. Noticing all the energy that you're creating as you 
Continue to breathe in and out smoothly and slowly. Consciously creating a breath that is even, that is yours. Keeping your eyes softly closed. Setting an attention for your practice this, e this afternoon. Finding gratitude and thankfulness for this moment, maybe for today, maybe whatever that you like in your life right now, bring it forth. Create that gratitude in your mind as you begin your practice. Taking this time to tell yourself three times how much you love yourself. I love you. I love you. I love you. And then gently fluttering, fluttering the eyes open. Coming back to the room. Becoming aware of the sensations of your body as you calm your body with your breath. We'll start out, we start to gently move. We'll start out with our stretching on our neck. We'll stay here in a seated mountain pose, hands resting on our thighs, your shoulders soft and down, back of the neck is long. And then gently start to take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, start to rotate the head all the way to the right, really slowly creating this movement with your exhale, contracting the belly into the spine. And as you inhale, back, come back to the center. Exhale, contract the belly in, release the breath as you start to rotate the head to the left. And inhale all the way back to center. Inhale, looking all the way up, very small movement. If this hurts your neck in any way, please stop. You just breathe with your, as you inhale, all the, exhale all the way back here. Stay here if this is too much, right? And then as you exhale, slowly start to move the head down, pointing down, looking down at the, at the floor. Inhale all the way back up. And exhale, slowly reach the head all the way down, gazing to the bottom of the floor. Inhale again, start to gaze straight up to the sky. This time, exhale, move the head back to center. Now, notice how as you turned or rotated your head, sometimes you can't do too much if you haven't moved your neck very much. So a lot of times it's a good thing to relax um, and do some move, do some little bit of stretching to kind of help release that. A lot of the times we can just Massage our thumbs a little bit, right? With our hand, other hand, we'll just massage our thumb and then slowly reach and use that, grab the right upper earlobe and start to massage it, kind of squeeze it a little bit, not too hard, just enough to kind of give it a little bit of like squeeze in and out and then start to slowly come down to come to the middle of the ears and all the way down to the lobes. Just stretch everything out and squeeze it. Just give it some new blood. And then release. And then this time, inhale here to center. As you exhale, start to move your, rotate the head all the way to the right. And just notice how that feels a little bit better. And you can actually turn it a little bit more. And inhale all the way back to center. Again, let's massage our left thumb. Just kind of creating a little bit of relaxation to your left side of the neck now. 
and then slowly reach for that upper part of your ear and then start to really massage it a little bit, squeeze it, give it a little bit of movement, squeeze, squeeze and let go and start to slowly come all the way to the middle, slowly coming down, massaging the whole entire ear and release. Place your hands back down. And take a deep breath in, feel yourself climbing up just with the inhale, letting the inhale inflate you upward. As you exhale, start to rotate the head to the left. Feel how much more relaxed maybe that neck part is releasing and inhale all the way back when you're ready. Really nice. This time, place your right hand on your left temple. And really, this isn't much of a mixture that your spine is nice and long, your head is not moving forward. We want our head to be nice and rested right on top of your shoulders. I don't want you moving forward this way either. I'd like you to come nice and tall, press down through the soles of the feet, press down through your hips so that you're engaging all the muscles that need to be engaged here. And just with gravity, start to move the head to the right. All right, really simple stretch here to the left. You're gonna feel that stretch as far as you can go without having any pain. You're just stretching it, you're gonna feel it. And that hand that's on the left temple is just this little bit of weight. You're not forcing, you're not using your hands to force the neck to the right side. You're just allowing a little bit of pressure from the hand, the weight of the hand to kind of pull you down without any force, right? It's just the weight. Gravity kind of pulling the head to the right and breathe. Breathe into the stretch. Allow the stretch to happen without any pain. And again, one last time, breathe in. And release, breathe out. Release the hand and reach the head back up to the center. Place the right hand back down. Use the left hand now. Place it onto the left, right temple, right? And then slowly inhale here. As you exhale, start to move the head to the left. No forcing here. It's just the pull, the weight of the arm kind of helping that stretch happen on the left, right side of your neck. You just feel that stretch. You want to engage your whole spine, no crunching, keep lifting through the sides, press down through the hips, press down through the soles of the feet. Just feel the stretch on the right side and just allow it to be here and breathe into it. Breathe into the stretch on the right neck, right part of the neck. Keep pulling that right shoulder down to find the stretch a little bit more. The exhale, maybe deepening the stretch. And slowly inhale, release. Lift the head back up, hands back down on your thighs. Seated mountain pose. Really nice. You like to just move it a little bit just to release any tension and then start to inhale, reach the shoulders up and exhale, reach the shoulders back. Inhale, reach the shoulders up. Exhale, reach the shoulders back. Down, all the way to the earth. Inhale, reach the shoulders up. And exhale, reach the shoulders down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Just let it hang. Two more. Inhale up. Squeeze it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And exhale, release back down. Find that release. Just exhale one last time. Inhale, reach up. Scrunch yourself up. Exhale, release. Ah. And this time, place, take a deep breath in, inhale the arms all the way up, connect the hands together, 
clasp the hands, clasp the fingertips, turn the palms towards the front and all the way up. You can, if you can't, if you can't do this, you can always grab opposite elbows, right? So opposite elbows, clasp the fingertips, and then start to reach all the way up if your hands are clasped and lift up, breathe up. Notice how you create this expansion as you breathe. And if your hands are clasped here, you're going to inhale, lift up, grabbing the elbows, like you're reaching the elbows to the sky. Continue to breathe in and out. Continue to make it even. One last breath, breathe in. And breathe out. And ah, oh, really nice job. This time, place your hands in front of you, fingers reaching towards the front, thumbs up, clasp the fingertips again, and this time, again, reach your palms to the front, start to extend and lengthen, straighten out the arm, and then stay here for a moment. And breathe, engage your belly, engage the shoulders, pull the shoulders back. And not to squeeze too hard here, just find engagement. Just activate it so that you're not going to dump any weight anywhere so that you don't hurt any ligaments, any tendons. And then start to, start to slowly Inhale, reach the shoulders forward. Exhale, reach the shoulders back. I'll show you how that works here. So if you are in this position, you're going to inhale, reach the shoulders forward. Just slight movement. Exhale, reach the shoulders back. And as you reach the shoulders back, feel the shoulder blades kind of touching. Let's do that one last time. Inhale, reach the shoulders forward. And exhale, reach the shoulders back and release. Ugh. And as we come back, place your hands in front again and start to twist the wrist a little bit, squeeze and make some fists, right? Rotate a little bit more. Maybe you'd like to release the hands. Really nice. And then from here, you're going to inhale, reach the hands all the way to the side. As you exhale, you're going to slowly reach the arms together, crossing the elbows, maybe the right hand on top, and then start to hug the elbows. Hug yourself. Nice great squeeze, stretching the shoulder blades wide away from each other, and then inhale, reach all the way back. Exhale, reach all the way, and hug yourself again. Squeeze yourself, feel the stretch, inhale all the way. Now stay here for a moment as you inhale. And as you reach the arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades, chest reaching forward like you're trying to pull your chest out of its cavity. Breathe. Ah, really nice. Last one, exhale, hug it in, cross the left arm, hug yourself yourself that big nice squeeze and hug how much you love yourself and inhale release back really nice so from here we're going to come into cactus arms right so we're going to have cactus arm fingers are pointing forward thumbs are pointing towards you elbows or about shoulder width now if you're having any difficulty here please rest it maybe just come over here right so we're just going to stay here for a moment we're just going to start to move so remember to engage the belly, press down through the sit bone, press down through the soles of your feet. Your shoulders are strong, keep them strong, activated. And as you exhale, you'll start to move the elbows together, right? Squeezing everything together. Inhale all the way back. Exhale all the way forward. Reach and hug it in. Inhale all the way back. Open up your heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale. Reach the elbows back together. One last time. Inhale. Reach the arms all the way up. Heart lifted. And exhale. The hands all the way down to your seat. Place your hands on 
your forearms. We're going to come into cat and cow, right? So basically, all we're doing here is we're going to engage ourselves. So we're going to engage our belly. So we're activating our belly. We're activating our chest. We're not pulling ourselves forward. We're not lifting the shoulders up. We're going to find engagement here. And all we're going to do is move our spine. And as we inhale, you're going to start to inflate up. You're going to start to arch the belly. And try to think of stretching and arching from the bottom of your spine, the base of your spine, and just climbing up as you stretch it forward, arching everything, inhaling, thinking of the chest reaching, maybe slightly gaining up to stretch out the rest of your spine. And as you exhale, starting at the base, start to round the spine back toward the back of the room. And the head, the crown of the head reaching down, maybe looking at your belly. Inhale, reach all the way up, find the arc, the chest lifting and reaching forward, stretching up, exhale, rounding, reaching back, like you're trying to move the spine all the way back. Two more, inhale, reach yourself forward, arching the spine toward the front, and exhale, reaching yourself all the way back. This doesn't have to be a lot of movement here. Just make sure that you're really being mindful of how you're engaging your body as you move. Try not to relax too much in certain parts because you could hurt your ligaments, right? So keep things engaged as you move. Last one, inhale all the way back to center. Really nice, you guys. So from here, all we're gonna do is come into a simple twist, right? I'm gonna place the right hand, actually the left hand, we're gonna grab the chair with our left hand and as you take that breath in, inhale, reach that right hand up. Exhale, start to twist and fold to that left side. Now, as we stay here for three breaths, really engage the shoulders down, hug everything in, keep lifting as you inhale, exhale, folding a little bit more. And think about where the breath is here. Let the breath kind of expand and lift you up so you're not crunching that left side. Try to breathe into it and try to move, keep that crunch from happening. You want to continue to lift, press down through that left hip. And exhale, inhale all the way back. Right, place that hand back, grab the right side of your chair with the right hand. Inhale, reach the left hand up. And as you exhale, start to lower yourself all the way to the right. Oh, yeah. Now you feel that stretch. Keep pressing that left hip down. Press the right hip and lift away so that you're creating less of a crunch on that right side. And breathe. Inhale. Lift and expand. Exhale. Find that twist to that right. One last time. Inhale. And exhale, twist to the right, inhale all the way back, and exhale the hands back down to your thighs. Ah, oh, we like to do some movement here, really nice. Just kind of relax, shrug the shoulders just to release, maybe your neck needs to release a little bit. From here, we're going to start to find some movement in our legs, right? So a lot of the times we might be here because we're struggling with a broken foot like me. Um, so goal is if you have any issues with that leg, if you've broken maybe or having any other issues with your legs and you can't really lift it, you can always support it with your hands and lift it, right? So you're gonna stay just like that. Take three breaths. Flex your feet. One last breath. And release. Right. So I'm going to show you on my um, block here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, stretch out our feet. Stretch that right foot straight in front of you. Flex your feet. And we're going to start to inhale here. Flex. Exhale. Point. Inhale. Flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Again, inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex this time. Stay here. We're going to start to windshield wipe. We're going to swing our ankles side to side like you're trying to swipe something, like swiping your feet. 
really nice stretch. And then maybe bend the knees, maybe cross it a little bit and start to rotate the ankles. Let's feel the stretch. Ah, feels good. Right? As we continue to keep our leg, place our uh, leg back down, straighten it out, flex your feet. We're going to start to come into a bit of a twist here, right? We're going to come into another twist. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the left hand on the right hand, the left hand on the right foot, and maybe the right hand on the right hip. And as you take a deep breath, inhale here, and exhale, find your way to twisting all the way to back of the room, maybe even looking past your shoulders. Keep the chest lifted, spine nice and long. You can find that rotation in your hips. Find that stretch, breathe into the stretch. Really nice. One last deep breath in and out. Inhale all the way back. Really nice. Now from here, we're gonna to come to this other, we're gonna stay on this side, our right ankle, our left ankle, excuse me, our left ankle is gonna come on top of the right. I might have been giving you the wrong cues. <laughs> um, so our left ankle on top of the right, and flex your feet, right? So a lot of times this might be too much. This might, this is probably where you're at, right? Your hips are really tight. You can just cross your, your knees on top of each other, right? So walk your, your um, right foot underneath and the knees can kind of come down. Like, this is okay. So you could do it this way. You don't have to, or you can do it the other way. This is kind of like a pigeon and thread the needle, right? So all you're going to do here is really engage and feel that hip stretch on that left side and breathe into it. And if this is enough and you're feeling a good stretch, stay here and breathe. Close your eyes. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can always, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can always fold forward, right? You can fold and you'll find a deeper stretch. Now, when you're doing this though, make sure that you're not, you're hinging at the hips, you're not gonna round your back. You want your back to be nice and aligned. All we're doing is inhaling, lengthening up. As you exhale, start to fold, right? You're folding, you're folding forward. And maybe this is it. You can feel the stretching up. Maybe you need to go further, right? Wherever you are, stay here and breathe into that stretch. Ah, one last breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale all the way back up. Remember, these movements should be soft and smooth. Be careful not to abruptly do things because you could hurt yourself, right? So it's being slow and in, in, in moving your body, being aware of how your body's limits are, right? So as we're coming to the next one, we'll. Um, We'll, uh, actually we'll do the, we gotta do the other side, don't we? <laughs> so we're gonna, again, you can use the support of your hands to help you, right? Lift up that leg or stay just like that, right? And breathe, continue to engage the shoulders, lift up, shoulders down, soft shoulders, breathe one last time and release. And then slowly inhale all the way this time. We're going to reach the right hand, the left hand up, right knee up. As you inhale, stretch the heels forward, right? Maybe your right hand's on your hip. And then exhale, reach everything back down. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach everything back up, stretch and reach the right heel forward. Exhale, come all the way back. Oops. Again, inhale, reach up, straighten out that leg, stretch that heel forward, flex your feet, and slowly come all the way back down. And again, from here, we're going to stretch out that right leg, and we're going to start to, probably can't see my feet, but I'm going, I am doing it. Let's see if I can 
kind of engage it when it's inside this boot, so it's a little bit harder, right? So you're gonna flex and extend, flex and extend, flex and extend. Breathe into it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, extend, exhale, flex. Keep doing it. Stretch it up. Really nice. And we're going to come into a twist over here, taking this time. If you want to do a little bit more stretch as you can, maybe this leg needs it more than the other, right? I do neglect, I do decide to neglect one side more than the other. Usually it's the right, because we always start with the right, and I decided to start with the left. So from here, we're going to place both hands on our left leg, left thigh. Maybe the left hand will come on sort of our hips, and the right hand is just kind of hugging and squeezing the left thigh, and continue to lift up, inhale up, and exhale, find that twist through the navel, maybe coming all the way back, and breathe, think of the breath, challenging yourself with this twist, right, sometimes when you're breathing this way, Especially when you're twisting, it's a little bit, little bit more difficult. Focus on your breath. And one last breath in. Exhale. Twist a little bit more. Inhale, come on. Oh, you might have felt that in the hips. You might have felt that in your lower back area. A good, nice stretch. So this time, we're going to place the right foot, right ankle on top of the right thigh or the left thigh, or you can place the right thigh over the left, right? So it's up to you how you like it. Um, whatever feels right for you. You're going to feel it in that right hip. You're going to feel that stretch in the right hip. And again, if this is enough, stay here and breathe. Close your eyes even. Now you're focusing on creating an even breath. Just breathe in and out. And if you'd like, start to fold forward. If you'd like to grab the chair to do so, you can, right? You want to keep the spine aligned. You don't want to re release the head. Now you're misaligning your spine, right? So you want the head to stay engaged. Engage your neck muscles so you're not feeling any um, pain anywhere because you're not giving it any support, right? So engage the neck muscles, the right side and the left side. Continue to breathe. Ah, really nice, you guys. One last breath. Inhale all the way back up when you're ready. Ugh. Again, you can always start to rotate your feet, flex them, and just kind of release any tension you might have in that feet, right? When you're ready, you're going to come all the way back down. Really nice. I'm realizing we don't have tons of time. All right, so we've already done all of that. So we're just going to come into, um, actually, we're almost done. So what we're going to do is this time we're going to cross our thighs, right? Actually, no. Yeah, we're going to cross our thighs. <laughs> so let's cross the left leg left thigh on the right thigh and if this is good you can stay here if you'd like to even wrap the whole entire left leg around the le uh, right leg you can if not if this is too much you've had enough maybe if you have a block you can always right you can always place that foot on top of the block to kind of help support it right Inhale, reach the hands all the way back. Exhale, place the left hand on the right hand on top. Sorry, the right hand on top. Bend the elbow, start to hug it in, and then start to wrap your whole entire until the hand, palms are facing each other. Now, if this is too much, you can always just place the back of the hands together. Lift the elbows up. You're going to feel that stretch in your shoulders. If it's too much, come off it. Just don't do too much here. Maybe you need to lower the elbows 
down. Sometimes the elbows need to come up to kind of find that. Keep, keep feeling the roundedness, the stretching of the shoulder blades away from each other, right? Continue to hug everything in, engage, press down through the hips, right? And maybe this is it. Maybe you'd like to start to fold the elbows, touching the knees, and maybe this is it. Try to keep an alignment in your back. Stay here and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Last breath. Inhale all the way back up. Open up those wings. You are in eagle pose. And release the leg back down. Place your hands back on seated mountain pose. Really nice. We're going to do the other side, right? So this time we're going to place the right leg all the way around on top of the left thigh. It's kind of hard for me. It's just kind of hurting. And from here again, you're going to inhale, reach the hands all the way back. Exhale, start to place the left arm on top, bend the elbows, hug the arms in together, wrapping it around. And maybe the palms touch, or you'll just come into the back of the hand switching. Lift up, feel the stretch this time, breathe into that stretch. Breathe in, think of and imagine that you are stretching and releasing any tension you might have in the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades come together and now it's coming apart as you find yourself squeezing yourself into eagle. Staying here for a few breaths, closing your eyes, or you'd like to Bend and fold and connect the elbows to knee. You can keep yourself nice and long. The spine continuing to reach forward as you breathe. Inhale. And exhale, contract the belly into the spine. One last breath. Inhale. And exhale, release, stretch out those wings, open up, lift that leg back down, place your hands by your side. This time we're going to come to the edge of the mat, edge of the, the chair a little bit, so you can actually open up your legs wide, the toes are a little bit away from each other. Try to find nice, find nice balance here. Press down through the soles of the feet. Press down through your hips. You're engaging your pelvis. Inhale, reach up. And then start to find your way to cactus on, right? So open up. And as you take that breath in here, continue to lift through the hips, lift this through the side body. Inhale up. And as you continue here, stay here and start to squeeze. Feel your um, shoulder blades squeezing together. You're opening the heart like you're reaching. You've got that upper back bend arch. Maybe you're gazing up. Breathe. And From here, we're going to settle in, come back to our comfortable seat, whatever that is, you know, whatever that's yours, please come into it, right? We're going to find our way back to a very comfortable position here so that our back is straight. We could have a blanket that we're pushing against to make our back nice and tall and our spine is really long and you're going to feel yourself pulling up to the crown of the head to lift and lengthen as you breathe. Begin to settle into your comfortable seat here as you close your eyes and start to journey into your breath. Start to notice the breath moving in and out through the belly. Creating a sense of peace as you find comfort as your whole body begins to relax. It feeds 
both feet are resting on the floor and relaxing here. All the muscles are releasing. I mean, no activity of those muscles. The whole entire leg as you breathe, noticing yourself as you exhale, the whole entire muscle of your legs completely relaxing. As you take a deep breath in, noticing your hips and your bum, feeling that slight activation as you exhale, slowly releasing to, your, to the chair. Your whole torso from your belly all the way to your chest and your shoulders. Engage with that breath. And as you exhale, imagine all the muscles releasing down. Still keeping that nice tall lift of your spine, right? You still need a tiny bit of engagement. Your arms, both arms are activated as you breathe in. And as you exhale, release the arms. Feel your arms completely soft and relaxed. Shoulders, inhale, feel the activation, feel the engagement, and as you exhale, release the shoulders back. Feel your face and your head activated, tense a little bit of everything, and then exhale, release it all. Let all the muscles in your face relax. Your whole entire body relaxed. As you just become aware of the small movement of your breath in your body. And imagine that you stay here for a few more minutes. As you breath brings you deeper and deeper inside of yourself to let go of everything but this present moment. You find comfort in your breath, noticing the energy that you've created in your body. Allowing the breath to help you drift you further into the depth of your being. Stay here for a few more minutes as you breathe in and out. Just being aware of your breath in your body. Take a deep breath in. And back to the awareness of your body as you begin to move your fingers and your toes. And stretching, and to come back, keeping your 
your eyes soft and closed. And now your hands together and your heart sinking. Just noticing your breath, noticing what's going on in your mind. Your thoughts are slowly starting to drift forward. Giving yourself some time to not have those thoughts. Thanking yourself to your heart center, Anahata, and gratitude for this practice. Whatever movement that we can make to keep ourselves, our prana, and our energy flowing within us. In honor of all that we are and all that there is. Namaste.